Welcome. A lot of us use popsicle sticks or index cards or some other method for doing cold call in our classes. And I want to show you how to do a very quick way to do this electronically, which might be good for remote learning. And you can project this onto a screen. All that I've done is I've opened up uh, Google Sheets and I've just changed this, these two uh, cells over here. And I like it to be a little clever. I put the universe has chosen. And then in this blue one under here, this is where the student names are going to go. And all that I've done is I've just resize this. Uh, you can see that the font is 24. You can make it however you'd like. Uh, down here, our school colors are blue and gold. So that's why I have blue for the background for the fill. And my text is going to be uh, yellow for the blue and gold. And then I just put a border around it. The way that I have this set up is I've made this the template. So then once we have this set up, we can reuse it for any classes that you have. And then I always have a working sheet, which is where I have the student list um, copied to first in case there's formatting issues or you have to join different sections together. So in this case, you can see my class list is over here. If we go back to the template, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just click on this blue cell here and I'm just gonna write equals E1 and then hit enter. And so that means that um, anything that's populated in E1 over here will then show up over here. And what we'll do then is we'll go back to the working sheet and we'll copy our student list and then we'll paste that right here into this over here. So now we've got an alphabetical list and you can see E1, David Bowie, shows up over here. If you want to do this, the, the quickest way to do it is you keep your list over here and you just use this pull down menu and all we have to do is randomize the range and then it randomly will um, reorganize these students and it will put it over here if we want to do it again, right, just randomize and you could go through and you could do it this way. And so now the universe has chosen and here's your student and the kids kind of like this because it seems like it's more fair. So that's the simplest way. If you want to get fancy, uh, there's one other thing that we can do. I'm going to put a button over here and then when you hit the button, it'll automatically pick uh, the new student. So what we'll do is we'll go to insert. We're going to create our button. So we'll make a drawing and I'm going to pick for my button. You can do it however you like. I'm just going to pick a circle like that. And I'm going to change the background so that it's red. I'm going to also change uh, the border so it's a little bit thicker. And then inside, I'm just going to uh, type in select student. And I'm going to highlight all of that. And I'm going to hit these dots. We'll change this. We'll make it white. I'm going to make the text bold. I'm also going to center it. And it's already in the middle, but if it wasn't, we would do this so it's in the middle there. And we'll make it a little bit bigger. Uh, let's see, that would be fine. So this is going to be our button. So we'll just save and close. And there it is. Now this is a little bit big. I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to drag it over here. Make it a little bit smaller so it looks like a good button size. And there we go. So what we want to do is we want now to make this uh, drawing, which will be our button, uh, so that when we click on it, it will repopulate this list randomly. So the way that we do that is we create what's called a macro. And it's, a macro is just a series of steps that uh, Google Sheets will store. So when you use that macro, we can assign it to this uh, drawing over here. So the way that we do that is we go to Tools and we go to Macros and we want to record the macro. And the first time you do this, you might have to go through a couple of extra steps. Uh, just to say that it's okay to use the macro. Um, if you've already used it before, then you won't have to do that. So for our macro, it's very simple. All we're going to do is just record the macro. And now whatever we do, the Google Sheets is gonna record this. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna hit that down arrow, randomize the range. I'm just gonna click somewhere else and then save. And I'm just gonna call this random and then we'll hit save. So you can see that it says the macro is saved. So now uh, what I can do is I can 
click on my drawing and I hit these three uh, dots and we can assign a script and there's only one script we called it random and if we hit OK now every time I hit this button it will do that same sequence so if I click it runs the script and now this button will automatically go through the same steps and it will repopulate with a random student. If we want to make it even more fancy, then we can even hide this. And if we right click, we can hide the column and then it goes away. And then the students are in there, but they can't really see it if it's projected. You just project this on the screen, select the student. This does highlight, but it will always pick a new uh, random student. If you zoom in, then you might not even see this. If you Now I picked uh, column E, but if you want to pick like column J or something that's off the screen, then you wouldn't even see this highlighted part over here. If you want to get this back, we just highlight between these two arrows over here, and then we right click, and then we unhide the columns. Uh, if we want to find what that um, macro is under tools, macros, we can manage the macros. We only have one, and there it is. If you had more than one, you could go through. Uh, you could also assign it a different sequence of keys. If you want to get rid of it, you just hit these three dots, and then you can remove it. If we go back to the button over here, if I right click on the button, and I get these dots again, we can, if we go to the assign script, if I get rid of this, if I delete the random over here, now it's just a shape again. It doesn't have the macro that's assigned to it. So if we want, go back, assign the script. Ours was called random. And now we hit the button and it's going to give us our random student. And I like to actually hide this so then it's even more amazing for the students when they see this. So that's it. Quick way to do the cold call. Uh, this sort of replaces the popsicle stick or the index cards or something else. Uh, and you can do this in your class. You can do it uh, virtually if you're doing remote learning or um, anything like that. So hope this helps. Thanks for watching.